Hey there, tech fans. Rick here from the O-Ray team with a brief overview of the HD401MR Quad Multi Viewer. This product is designed to allow you to quickly select the input for a single monitor from up to four HDMI sources through the use of the button on the front, the included infrared remote control, or even trigger that switch through an RS-232 connection on the back. In addition to showing you one of those sources on the monitor, the HD401MR can combine multiple sources into a single view as well. Now I'd like to start with an unboxing of the product, then I'll do a close-up and show you what all the buttons and connections do, and finally come back and show you how to use the product. So when you first open the box, you'll notice the HD401MR is completely encased in metal, and that's important because it means it's much more durable than a lot of the competitor products. It also means it's gonna cut down on the RFI interference and make sure you get the purest video signal possible up to your monitor. A power supply is included. It's a five volt supply that plugs into the back, plugs into the wall, powers up the unit. You have a nice infrared remote control that works with this technology. There's an infrared receiver here, so you can point it at the unit and make all the changes you need to. It'll allow you to switch between the different sources, move between those five modes that I'm gonna talk about a little bit later, turn the unit on, mute the audio, all the things you need to do from a distance. I'd mentioned the RS-232 connection on the back. We also include a connector that you can wire hardwire to that RS-232 connection and then plug it into the back of the unit. And then finally, there's a full user's manual included that explains all the specifications about the product, what type of video signals you can expect to pass through this unit, how to use the mode switch, how to use the selection switch, and what the remote control does. So if you have any questions, the manual's the first place to start to research those questions. Now, if you stay tuned, I'm gonna actually do a close-up, explain what the buttons do, and show you what the connections look like. Now we'll take a little closer look at the O-Ray HD-401MR HDMI switcher. On the front of the unit, We've got a power indicator on the left. You've got an infrared window here, which works for your remote control. That's where the receiver LED is. You've got an audio button, a main button, and a mode button. If you tap the audio button, you can mute the actual audio being passed through the HDMI. If you hold that for one and a half seconds, it'll bring up the on-screen display. The main button allows you to switch between the four different inputs, and the mode button allows you to pivot between the five different settings for those inputs. And I'll explain all that in a few minutes. On the back, you've got four HDMI inputs, one, two, three, and four, and you've got an output that goes to your monitor. Make that connection to your monitor, and you can use all four of these or any one individually. On the right, you've got a DC connection for your power supply that plugs into the wall, and you've got an RS-232 connection with a mating connector in the kit that allows you to switch between the inputs over RS-232. On the sides, you've got vents for cooling. On the bottom, you've got additional vents for cooling, and you've got two bracket mounting positions over on either side over here. And one of the things I like so much about this unit is that it's a total metal construction, which means it can be used in industrial environments. It's very, very durable. And the fact that I can mount it to a wall someplace with the brackets underneath just makes it really easy to install. The O-Ray HD401MR supports a wide range of HDMI inputs that include products like PCs, game consoles, streaming devices like Roku and Amazon Fire TV, home surveillance systems, and cable boxes. The video supported by the device include HDCP 1.4 compliance, 1080p 3D at 60 Hz, and 24-bit deep color, including 30-bit and 36-bit. The audio supported includes DTS Digital, Dolby Digital, LPCM, True HD, DTS HD Master Audio, and it'll accomplish pass-through on 5.1, 7.1, and 9.1. On the front panel of the unit, there are three buttons that control the functions of how the display operates. The audio button has got two functions. If you tap it, it'll mute the audio on the selected HDMI source. If you hold it for 1.5 seconds, it'll activate the on-screen display. The next button is the main button, and that allows you to cycle through the various HDMI connections you've made to the back of the product. Every time you tap it, it'll cycle to the next input and then rotate back to the first one. The mode button allows you to combine multiple HDMI inputs into a single image on the display. There are five different profiles for this mode button and you cycle through them by tapping the button. The first profile is the original, which takes the full size HDMI source and displays it full screen on your monitor. If you tap the button again, you go into two screen mode, which will pick two of the HDMI inputs and split the screen between them. And you can use the main button to select those inputs. Another tap of the button brings you into four screen mode where the display is broken into four quadrants with each of the individual HDMI inputs displayed in one of the quadrants. Tap the button again and you move into four screen mode with one large image and three smaller images to the right. 
And again, you can switch those images around by hitting the main button. The final mode is called four screen mode, too large, too small, which displays two of equal size in the center and the outer perimeters on either side with the last two images. If you tap the button again, you'll move back to the original position. Hopefully this video has helped to explain the features, benefits, and use of the HD401MR Quad Multiviewer. If we've missed anything or you have further questions, please check our fact or send us a note through the Contact Us link at the top of our webpage. Thanks for watching.